Hey, Inspire and Thrive coaches, it's Heather and Christine here. And per usual, we could not figure out today how to get um, us on Zoom streamed live into Facebook. So we are doing a recording today instead. And then we're going to try to figure out how to do the Facebook Live with both of us on Zoom in, in the upcoming future. But we are excited to jump on for our first uh, Motivation Momentum Monday um, and hope that you guys appreciate us doing this over the next couple of months while we know things are crazy busy with school ending and summer vacations and lots of transitions happening both for myself and Christine that um, this is an easy way for us right now to kind of touch base with you guys and we'll reevaluate doing some type of in-person meeting as we kind of get through the next couple of months. So if some of you haven't heard yet, I am in the process of packing up my home and moving to Colorado in June, which is really exciting, but it's put a lot of stuff on my plate. And so I'm so grateful that uh, both Julie Matthews and Kim Larson agreed to help kind of run our team challenge this month um, because I don't think I would have had the capacity to do it. In fact, I'm really struggling currently to even take care of my own self-care. And so that was something Christine and I were just chatting about. We wanted to really share with you guys our own struggles and then give you guys some encouragement for things that you guys can do this month. Um, the month of May tends to be pretty crazy for a lot of people. And so, and we understand because we're both going through a lot of stuff right now. Um, so we wanna just encourage you guys um, to rather than running away and hiding or dropping your self-care, dropping your workouts, um, eating the first thing that you find in your refrigerator or skipping meals, to really try to find a couple of things you can do to stay on the health path and stay integrated into this team. So I know for myself, I have been struggling the last few weeks. I mean, really since we got back from spring break and made this decision to move to Colorado to stay consistent with my workouts. And I've been making a lot of poor eating choices, a lot of stress eating, or just sometimes not eating because I'm so busy. I don't even make the time to eat. And I can really feel it in my body and in my, my mind, my, my mindset that I'm just not taking care of myself very well. And so kind of going back to the basics, I really just need to focus on finding time to do something for myself and not focusing on being perfect with it, but not letting it go either. And I'm so glad we have this community and this team because if I didn't have you guys, it would I, I would have given up a long time ago for sure between the move. Um, it's actually Dylan's birthday today and Alex's birthday today. Um, you know, between Mother's Day and Memorial Day weekend and graduations and, um, you know, wrapping up the school year, there's so much stuff going on right now. And I really could just hang up my workout shoes, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying to get in there and do those workouts. And I want to encourage you guys to do the same. So on that note, Christine and I want to talk a little bit about two ways that you can tap into this team um, if you are feeling overwhelmed in the month of May and wanting to give up on your fitness and your nutrition. How can you keep that part of your routine, even if not perfect, so that you can still feel good and um, you know, not fall completely off track and feel like you're starting over again. So option number one, if you haven't noticed inside this group, we started our seven day challenge of the month and it's all about self-care. So we did a self-care summer challenge last year. It was really popular. People loved it. So I'm excited that we're going to do it for seven days um, just for our team. And it's really simple in the sense of you don't have to do a lot of planning or anything around it. It's just taking a little bit of time each day to do something that rejuvenates you or relaxes you or de-stresses you or that something that brings you joy, that's something that's just for you. 
Um, if you look at the bingo card that I created, some of the things are so simple. It could be something like just changing a negative thought into a positive thought. So I wanna encourage you guys to participate in the seven day challenge. And basically what you're gonna do is report in each day, today, Monday through this Sunday, um, what you did for your self care. That's all you have to do is report in what you did for your self care for the day. If you do that all seven days and you take a picture of yourself with your bingo card, if you get at least one bingo, so that's a row across, a row up and down or a diagonal, take a picture of you with the bingo card and post it on Sunday's post, you will get an entry to win a prize. And if you get two bingos or three bingos, you'll get extra entries into the prize drawing. So encouragement to do as much self-care as you can. And you don't only have to stick to the things that are on the bingo card, you can do other things. So for example, today, I booked a couple of doctor's appointments for myself that I've been needing to do. I know that's not super fun and relaxing and, and you know, glamorous self-care, but it's stuff that I've been putting off that I know will be good for me to just check in on. So anything that you deem self-care, that counts. Um, so that's a self-care challenge. So do that challenge, take care of yourself this week and connect into the team. Having people around and that social connection, even if it's virtual, feels really good. So please do that. The other option um, is to participate in our accountability group this month. So I'm gonna let Christine talk a little bit about that. Um, so go ahead, Christine. Okay, so great. So like um, Heather was saying, I have my candle here and I can, I'm gonna light that, that today and I can check that off. I've drank in my Shakeology and I've lit a candle. I'd love to take a bath today. Um, I'm looking at that straight across, switch to negative thought with a positive thought. And that, that kind of leads into the accountability group and changing our mindset. And that lately, like Heather, I've just really struggled because things have been so busy here and getting ready for my daughter's graduation and coaching her high school tennis team and family arriving. And my two oldest kids had COVID a couple of weeks ago. So with all those things going on, I have not gotten myself in a good routine and I have not been cooking healthy meals. Um, and instead of saying to myself that I'm a failure, I'm trying to change that thought and process to saying, let's, let's see, what are the things that I have done well? Well, I've gotten rid of stuff out of my house. That feels really good. Um, I've gotten to play tennis with my friends and had some social interactions. That feels good. And um, I'm really excited and pumped up to have my family come into town. So it feels really good to get some of the outdoor stuff ready for our big parties here. Um, so I'm going to focus on those positives and looking at our awesome challenge group that that um, Kim and Julie created, just to remind you what it looks like. It's called magnifying the motion, magnifying the magic of mind and motion. And I love the title because just talking about motion makes me feel a little bit better than just exercise because right now I feel like I'm really in motion every day and um, getting to play tennis and practicing volleyball with my daughter is kind of my exercise right now. I'm not able to get in the workouts right now, but the fact that my daughter wants to play volleyball with me and my other daughter taking her to teach her tennis, those are really, really important. Those, those days will be gone before we know it. So focusing on that type of motion and then the mind, the mind frame of being able to just reward yourself for the things that you do do well and focusing on that small self-care. So having you either participate in our self-care weekly challenge group that we're doing right now or jump into that great group that Julie and Kim are doing um, so that you can kind of keep yourself on track and accountable even in hard times like this. So even just making myself have to say, oh yeah, I need to go ahead and go in that group and post my, my tennis or whatever I'm doing and have that Shakeology so I don't want to have Culver's every day or whatever I can get my hands on because I really don't want to cook right now. Um, but that's life. That's part of life. And it doesn't mean that as a coach that I'm a failure. It just means that it's we're real and that we, we struggle with the same things that other people struggle with. And none of us are perfect. And so we just get back on track and we do the best job we can. And we try to uh, still encourage ourselves when things are 
hard and down and to look at the positives of so many exciting things from Heather's move, which is huge, so exciting, so positive, but it requires a lot of tedious things and a lot of moving parts. Um, and having my daughter graduate from high school and go to college and have family here is wonderful and is huge. There's a lot of moving parts with, with getting ready for that, but it's all very, very exciting. So focus on the positives that you have instead of beating yourself up and get moving and in motion, however you can do that right now. Um, starting a program and doing a specific program has worked for me in the past. And I think that that is something for people that are struggling. If you have something to follow every day, it really sets you up for success versus kind of bebopping between things and not sure what you're gonna do. So if you have a mindset of what you're gonna do ahead of time, that will help you to stay focused and on track. So hopefully this month, you guys can finish the month strong with our last about two weeks left. Um, celebrating those birthdays. We've celebrated Jenna's and Kathy's and Isabel's is right around the corner, followed by Kim's, followed by Liz's and anybody else that's in the wonderful month of May. Um, so finish strong and celebrate those wonderful things that we have and focus on the positive. Yeah, I like that the idea of focusing on the positive and what we are doing well, because it's so easy to go to I find myself doing that like, darn, I, I, you know, skip my workout this morning, but I did make those doctor's appointments and I did spend time with my son this morning because it's his birthday and, um, you know, just really focusing on that, I think can be uplifting. Um, yeah. So I think, uh, you know, one thought popped into my head is if you're struggling with your nutrition, pick one simple thing that you can focus on adding in to what you're doing rather than saying, oh, I have to stop doing these things or I have to cut this out. I mean, that's a good option too, but you could instead focus on maybe it's adding in um, an extra serving of vegetables or maybe it's not skipping breakfast like I seem to have been doing this week. Um, it could be adding in a Shakeology, you know, just even saying for this month, I'm going to make sure I get my Shakeology every day. Those simple things can be a game changer and give you the momentum to start feeling like you're back in the game again. Um, so I would encourage that for sure. And then the other thing we wanted to encourage you guys to do is, you know, Christine and I know we're not alone. We know you're not alone in feeling this way. I bet you can think of one person in your life right now who's not already part of this group, um, whether it's the team or our accountability group, they're not doing, you know, a, a beach body program. Um, one person who you know really needs some self care right now, really needs some community, really needs to take care of their body by, you know, adding in some nourishing foods and getting some movement in. Can you think of one person that you could invite to do this with you this month, to get started with you this month? Um, reaching out and helping them in turn becomes an accountability system for you. So you guys can buddy up and do a fitness program together or commit to drinking Shakeology for 21 days or commit to showing up in, um, you know, the accountability group or, you know, if the person decides that they want to join the team, they could even participate in our self-care challenge this week. So our challenge for you is Think about someone in your life right now who could really use this and someone that you would like to have as your accountability buddy and commit to doing something with them, whatever it is, invite them in. Um, and um, you will find that extra motivation to show up for yourself because now you've got that person there that you've kind of committed to, right? And you're also bringing someone into the community and helping your business grow too. So that's our challenge for you guys. Uh, I don't know, other than mentioning that the preferred customer program, if you've been following the information on the launch of that program, the thought was it was gonna happen sometime mid-May. Mid now I'm hearing it's end of summer. So I just wanted to update you guys on that. If you're looking forward to that preferred customer program because your buddy actually could be a great person for that program. But in the meantime, since it's still not available, 
Encourage them to join as a coach of self on the team, knowing that they can switch to a preferred customer program down the road when that launches. And then just remember that right now, the um, Let's Get Moving Challenge Pack is only 140. So normally kind of the lowest price we have is 160 for the all access BOD Shakeology Challenge Packer performance. And right now for 140, that's a really good steal. So I know a lot of people will say, you know, summer's around the corner, the weather's nice, they wanna get outside. We hear that a lot this time of year. And yes, that's totally true. But if they look at the evaluation of it lasts the whole, the whole year long, um, this is a good time to jump on that for that, that less price. And then they have the option to add in some things as well as just even stretching during the summertime. Um, or for people that live in Texas or Arizona or some of those really hot states, this is the time to join to have some indoor workouts because it gets very, very hot after 8 a.m. and a lot of those states coming up in those summer months. So tap into the resources of where the weather is and the time of year and how we can make that work. Um, but really enjoying that great discounted price right now. It's Yeah, phenomenal. and I like so, that. Um, I like my Shakeology even more in the summertime. So it's a good, yep. good time to snag a bag of Shakeology. Snag a bag. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> snag a bag of Shakeology. Because um, those shakes are really yummy in the summer when it's hot. Yeah. All right. Well, I think Absolutely. that's that's all we have for today, unless I forgot anything we wanted to share. Um, but I would say action items for today is pick one or both if you want to jump into the self-care challenge or jump into our um, magnifying magic and motion. I, I never say it exactly right, but um, our accountability group that goes through mid-June, jump into one of those groups for um, inspiration, support, and, um, you know, commit to making a little bit of time for your self-care, even in the midst of craziness, and see if you can think of someone to invite to be part of this with you. And uh, if you have any questions, you can just comment below this video or reach out to us um, and we will uh, we'll help you out. All right, guys. Right, do us a favor, write in, the, write in the comments which program you're gonna do and then also write one negative you turned into a positive. Oh, I Something like that. that you're proud of yourself instead of not being proud of yourself. So I'm gonna go light this candle sniff away and be, as someone told me, to stay in the moment and the present. And for both Heather and I, being in that present moment of moving and enjoying California for the last bit. And for me, enjoying my daughter and her graduation and all the events. And one of my friends made a really good point. She said, we focus so much on our first, our kid's first walk, our first talk, our first home but sometimes it's those last moments. So the last day of school for these kids, the last time that they'll be living in that house that Heather's in, the last time to drive that car into the um, garage, you know, those little things that like you just kind of, you know, take them for granted. The last time that you, uh, you know, head up from that high school. Oh, yep. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yep. So. Focus this month on those lasts and really be present in each of those and enjoy them because they'll be gone before you know it. Yeah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. And hopefully next week we'll actually be live <laughs> we and figure it out. But if not, um, you will have a video for us from us. All right. Bye, guys. Have an awesome week. See you inside Later. our groups.